everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I had not planned on doing any video today. So I just grabbed my camera because you know what I was doing? I was sitting at the computer and I started to look through the old videos. And you know, I didn't realize all this that you've seen behind me, all our garden tours, four years. We are just up on four years. Can you imagine four years, nothing was here. None of our gardens, nothing. It was all just dirt, just sand, just clay. We didn't have anything. I'm gonna walk through. This is not, I hope, gonna be a long video because it's not a garden tour. The front yard that I always take you through, two years. That's all it's been here for. I didn't even know, you know, I. I thought it was a whole lot longer, but the wood chips have been down for about two years now, and I've actually got squash now growing straight into the wood chips, and this is all blacktop. I amazed myself. Come with me, let's go take a walk. You know what? Let's take a walk a different way, and let's go look at the truck bed, because that is the first video, I'll turn you this way, the first video I put up four years ago. I can't believe it. It was towards the end or the middle of 2015. Gary had already gone gluten-free because he had a lot of health issues. I had health issues but didn't really think about it. You know, I figured I'd have to live with arthritis on my hands and not be able to type and not be able to do a lot of things because, well, they told me that. They said, you're getting old, you've got arthritis. So I took the word for it. So what? I mean, I just figured that was it. But Gary couldn't walk anymore. He was walking with a cane. His back was hurting. He had a lot of leg problems. And he, he went gluten-free and found out that all his aches and pains went away. He was amazed. It was the gluten that was causing an inflammation is what it was. So the first video I put up was on the truck bed. This truck bed came with this property. And I was trying to get rid of it. My girlfriend at the time was going to take it. And then she looked at it, her and her husband said, nah, they don't want it. And it sat here. So four years ago, Gary filled this whole thing up with llama manure and I don't know, donkey manure, because one of our neighbors had all that. And he filled it up with just that. We were just bringing in the wood chips and everything grew. We grew so much spaghetti squash in this truck bed, it was unreal. But the video wasn't made for anybody to garden. The video was made, I made the video, so Gary's family would know he's alive and well. And I just showed that. And then at the time I showed his big pile of wood chips that he had brought in that was here. You've heard the story, it was a nightmare. And let me tell you, it was. I thought he had lost his mind when he gave up gluten and started bringing in all the wood chips. All this was just weeds. It was horrible. It was just dust. I had gardened over the years little by little, but it was such an effort that anytime something is such an effort, you eventually give up on it is what it is. But you know, the more he started eating gluten-free, and he was gluten-free, he wanted to grow his own food. He wanted to get healthy. and. I wasn't gluten-free the first year. I would still eat whatever I wanted. But you know, I started to give it up. When I gave it up, I found out that all my inflammation went away and I didn't need all that. Gary didn't even have a sense of smell. I've talked about that story before that. He, I mean, the first time when he gave up gluten-free, we had the gas company here in the middle of the night after midnight because he thought there was a gas leak. He was smelling jasmine. He had never smelled jasmine flowers before. It was so funny, but the reason I wanted to come out here and walk around out here today was because I went on the computer and I was amazed it's only been four years. Now, Gary and I knew a lot about nature. We both in different ways have studied nature. And I have always been a firm believer in more years than I wanna say in mother nature. I am amazed with Mother Nature, with all kinds of animals, and it goes back to plants. So when we started bringing in the wood chips, or I should say him, and I did think he was crazy, you can go back and look at the video, there was no joke. I thought he had totally lost his mind. When we started growing things, it was unreal. 
I mean, can you believe that everything you've seen on the garden tours, all my garden, which is back there, and then Gary's, which is down below, you've seen it, and I'll take him down in the next few days because he should show his garden. He should show what the wood chips, how they've changed and turned into this fantastic soil and the plants that are growing. My neighbor across the street told me, oh, you can't grow anything out here. Are you kidding me? We have the best weather. All we have to do is introduce new topsoil and things want to grow. You can't stop things from growing in wood chips, except for weeds. Weeds do not grow in wood chips. Weeds have to fly, land on soil, take root and grow. Well, with the wood chips, they can't seem to get a grip and start to grow their root system. So it's funny, weeds don't grow on wood chips. But when it comes to other things, it's a different plant, they'll grow. We do a lot in the way Mother Nature intended. When I want to collect seeds, I mean, yes, there's times I go and collect seeds. I put it in envelopes and I label it. I'll collect some tomato seeds or do cuttings and stuff. But you know what I do a lot? I'll take some old tomatoes or squash and I will put them in a bowl and not do anything. I will let Mother Nature do what she meant to do. Let it sit. Fruits, vegetables were designed to wait for the right time to grow. They know better than us. So as long as it doesn't get moldy and it just sits there, the seeds will live inside of the fruit. And that's the way I do a lot of my fruit. A lot of the tomatoes that are growing in the yard, just old tomatoes I had sitting in a bowl and just threw it in the soil where I wanted to grow and it did its own thing. We do a lot with Mother, Mother Nature. And now we're gonna, let's go back into my yard. I really don't wanna keep this long. It's just that I'm in shock today. I feel like I've been doing this forever and it's been four years. That's it, four years. And I've got the Moringa tree growing now. Now, of course, that's not that old, but the papayas behind me, they're less than four years old. Four years. I was in shock. I, I started looking and the first video, there was, the first video I put up was on the truck bed on the spaghetti squash. And then I put something up from my yard. Let's go into my yard. I call it my yard, it's our yard, but Gary's got his own thing. You know, and the first one was that little blue tub back here. Let's see if we can get back here. See that blue tub back there? That's kind of like one of the, let me see if I can move that. That little blue tub that's got nothing in it, that was like something I, I went and, and planted in and we didn't know good, better. We went to some company, I don't want to name the company, gave away free compost. And when they gave away free compost, we, oh, Gary was all excited. We're gonna get free compost. So he got free compost and, oh, we got helicopters flying around. See, you always have helicopters flying around. Anyways, um, it was deadly. Any place we put that compost, it killed everything. Can you imagine he brought home so many trash cans because he loaded up all these big trash cans to bring home compost. And when he started putting it out, everything was dying. Who knows what was in their compost? He had to end up shoveling it all up and throwing it back out in the trash. All of my garden that's growing so big, all these plants that are growing, the tree color behind me, everything growing is four years and less. It doesn't take much and it doesn't take a lot of effort. Everybody really should garden something. I don't want to get into lecturing anybody on that, but to me it is so important. But I'm just amazed what we have done in four years. And the reason I think we have not only stuck with it, but enjoyed it is because there's very little effort. Everything is really like a, it's my garden's like a food forest. And even though it's in containers, you think, oh, containers, you gotta water. You just go through with a hose and you hit it with water. You don't have to flood everything. There's always dampness under there. It's beautiful. Look at all the tomatoes. We're at the end of September and I'm gonna have tomatoes probably well into winter. I am amazed. And all I wanted to do is share with you today that it has been four years. 
and I'm amazed on how much I've learned in four years. I have learned, a, ooh, broccoli. I have learned a whole lot in four years on gardening. And basically I sit back and I look at things and I think, what do I wanna do and how do I wanna do it? And how would mother nature do it? Well, if mother nature's gonna drop the tomatoes on the ground, then I'm just gonna toss them in a nice dry place and plant them when I want. As far as seeds, the same thing, but yes, you do want control. If you want it manicured and perfect in your yard, then yes, you will want to put it where it's going to grow, where you want it to grow. I'm fine with this. I can walk through this garden and pick all the greens that I want. And I know I've got food in here at any given time. I've got food in here. And I'm not putting out a lot of effort and it's so relaxing and so nice. Celery is growing all over my garden. Why is celery growing all over my garden? Because I let it go to seed and I let the birds take what they want. The seed falls, it grows, and you know what? I can move it. It's so easy. Yank it out of the ground, the ones that start coming up, and move it where you want. I do that with the broccoli, I do it with kale, I do it with a lot of things, and then you could do cuttings. But I think the thing I'm, I'm amazed about is our wood chips have broken down to beautiful soil here in four years, which means you can actually grow in it sooner. You can help it grow faster, you know, if you want it to break down more. But all this is just four years. And that's what I'm so amazed about, four years. I've got to get down in the Gary's garden and do an update on his wood chips. Because with mine, I do do a lot of container gardening. I had all these dog kennels that, and let's see if I can back up over here. These are old dog kennels. They were, came from a groomer. It was a big pet store and they decided to redo their grooming department. And my daughter called me and said, you better get down here right now. They're giving away, all, they're not giving away. They threw them all out by the dumpster. So I ran over there. Well, I guess Gary ran over there, loaded up his truck and brought him home. Well, we didn't want them for dogs. We're not putting dogs in there, but it's a really nice, sturdy, plastic that it, it worked really good and he brought him home and I ended up starting the plan in him. Even then I didn't know what I was doing. I was shoveling up dirt in the beginning. Yes, dirt for our own soil. It was hard as a rock. It was nothing was really growing. You can see my old plants. They look spindly and everything. Now I know better. I don't throw these leaves away. Everything I talked about, this is gold. These yellow leaves, this is soil. This is what mother nature intended. It falls, it breaks down, it makes soil. I think my garden is so easy to maintain. I know that anybody can do this. I, I, without a doubt, I know that anybody can do this. And we're always experimenting with things. We've got some ideas for the winter that we're going to try. But this is just so easy and it's been four years. That's it. Four years ago, I thought my husband was losing his mind. Fixes up his old pickup truck, and he still has that pickup truck. Puts boards around it and starts hauling home wood chips. Running in the street after tree trimmers. Bring me your wood chips. And I thought, oh my gosh, this guy's crazy. What is he doing? But he was thinking about health. He, had, he was doing research. I really was just doing very little at the time. But you know, I used his wood chips and even now I do sometimes and I don't. You don't have to have wood chips to garden. Once you start gardening and once you start having your own plants, you've got your own soil. You go to the grocery store, you buy something, you're not gonna eat it, it went bad. That's soil. You're gonna put that back into your soil. I have so many easy ways how to compost in place. I compost in place. I do not turn. I do not move. The only time I will move some compost is if I want to move it somewhere else. If I want to start a new container and I want to get some good rich soil in there and I know a lot of my compost, the earthworms gravitate to it and the microbes are in there and everything's in there. So that's when I will move it. But nothing has to be moved. It's moved because I want to move it, not because something has to be moved. 
So today I just wanted to say, four years. I, I'm just in shock. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I can't believe how much we've done in four years and I plan on doing a whole lot more in the next four years, but I'm not gonna kill myself doing it. I'm gonna let my garden grow the way mother nature intended it. She's gonna take care of it and I'm gonna enjoy it. And that goes for the birds. The birds, the butterflies, and some insects. You know, I don't like hornworms, but the occasional hornworm is okay. If your plant gets chewed by a hornworm, the plant's gonna come back. Now, if your plant gets chewed by a whole bunch of hornworms, it may not come back. But if you've got one or two hornworms on there or something chewing, something, it's not gonna hurt anything. We've had some other little green caterpillars that come and chew and, you know, and then the plant grows back as soon as the worm is gone. If you don't have insects, you won't have birds because the birds that are insect eaters are gonna come in and they're the ones that are gonna forage in your garden. If you keep it real clean, you're not gonna have that. We use no spray. We buy no plant food. I am not saying there's anything wrong. We used to buy plant food four years ago. I still have bags. I found the plant food this morning. I was going through, Gary's got a new project where we're working on. You'll see it on the next garden tour, a little bit, a sneak peek. It's actually in here, but I'll give you a sneak peek on the next garden tour. But I started looking, we have all these bags of plant food we bought four years ago that we never used. Once we started doing it the way Mother Nature did it, I didn't need to. Okay, Mother Nature will take a leaf and it will fall and rot. I can help Mother Nature. I can take some of these leaves, I can drop them in a bucket, in a few days they stink, and then that water is plant food. So I'm just pushing it along a little quicker. But we've learned so much. And like I said, we were not strangers. Both of us have researched and our lives were totally devoted to nature before we got into full-size gardening. But we've taken everything we both knew and we've put it into growing food because animals and plants are basically the same and it works the same way. So with that, I think I just wanted to come out and share that it's been four years. It's kind of like a four year anniversary. I'm excited about all this. I haven't grown any more spaghetti squash since four years ago, growing it in the truck bed because, well, we had like 50 plus and we all got sick of it. And we're not real big on spaghetti squash. I happen to love zucchini. I can do so much more with zucchini. But I was just amazed when I started looking at the videos today I had a whole other video I was working on on hummingbirds and I put everything down and grabbed my cell phone right now and ran out in the yard and thought, oh my gosh, four years ago, I put up our first video. It had nothing to do with gardening. It was just the truck bed that, like I said, no wood chips, no nothing. Our yard was not prepped. We had very little growing, actually not growing good at all. And how we've gone from then to all this, and we have different gardens. Gary does it his way. He's doing everything in the ground with wood chips. That's the way he wants to do it. It's easier for him. And for me, I enjoy container gardening. We all have our own way. You probably have your own way too. And you could do both. It's so easy. So happy anniversary to us for four years. And you know, Gary told me that he looked back at the videos and you know what he said to me? I wonder if he's trying to get on my good side. He said, I look 10 years younger now than I did four years ago. Hope that's a compliment. So with that, I'm gonna get his garden done in a couple days and let him do his four year anniversary because all this is only four years old and I'm just excited about that. So have a wonderful day. I just wanted to share this with you. I'm so excited. Have a great day, don't forget, Help Mother Nature out if you're doing a garden. And the most important thing is with the food system these days, we all need a little bit of real live grown food. And that's what I'm trying to get everybody to do. Grow something. I don't care if it's parsley, garlic, chives, mint, something to get some good live nutrients into our bodies. And that's so important for all of us. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't worry, we'll be back in a couple days. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.
four years. Bye-bye.